update video on these guys so the last time we checked in with these guys I did some plant training about a couple of days ago if you have a look at them now it's like I didn't do shit all you know have a look at that guy's growth holy shit I took a clone off of this guy because it broke off right there right there and that clone is already rooting it's been two or three days and she's alive and thriving not much more update with these guys other than it's looking super super good welcome back this is an update this is my veg tent and these fuckers are ready to flower I'm just waiting for my flowering tent to make some room but these guys are quite fucking happy I mean look at this I can't even see anymore what I did to it you know what? these guys are catching up nicely bruh 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 Fuck. Suffering a little bit with the humidity and the temperature, but she don't mind. She thriving. This gal's getting ready to move into a new tent, but before I do that, gotta save her a little bit. She needs a bit of a trim, a bit of a retrain. Um, this one right here is doing really good. Look at this bush. This tiny pot. Re I'm gonna repot her, but I'm gonna let her get used to her new climate first. That shit. This is the larger pot. Also, we'll be getting transplanted after this week of training. Um, yeah, got her laying flat. I'm gonna let her stretch. What's up, guys? Welcome back to my channel. And welcome to my new and improved bench tent. So as you can see here, we've got the Mass Medical Strange Star Pupil crossed with Weapon X. Both of them started from seedling. And they were in my smallest tent, my 16 by 16 I believe it is. Oh sorry, 18 by 18 And now they are in a true 2 by 2 and they are loving the space. Earlier this morning, um, when I moved them into this tent, both of these guys got a refresh on their plant training, their LST, and they were all laying flat. And as you can see, this little guy in a tiny little, I think, two and a half gallon, almost three gallon pot, has already got its um, main flowering sites pointing up. Super awesome. These are inner nodes now reaching the top of the canopy or leading the canopy. A um, bit of plant training there. Um, same thing goes with this guy. A little bit flat, but starting to curl back up. This one's experiencing a bit of nutrient deficiency, but I'm not overly worried. I think she's still getting used to her super soil. Um, and I think she's a bit locked out of her newts. So we will um, do a bit of investigating to try and figure her out. Because, yeah, she should be um, happy. She's got the best pot. And they are also being treated once a week with a soil drench using Mountain Organic Botanicals. Um, combination of neem oil, uh, Ritha tonic as well as their citrus tonic to help fight pests naturally as well as a natural fertilizer and overall really good um, foliar spray for the plants once a week. If you don't know anything about them, um, check out Mountain Organics on Instagram. Very informative page. They've got a uh, wealth of knowledge and everything they do is organic, natural, and no-till. Um, he's got examples of pots that have gone through 26 cycles. And this is truly something I'm aspiring to do. You know, I look to run, hopefully after all of this trial and error, one, just one giant pot in here with uh, no-till reoccurring um, perpetual harvest perpetual grow um, that's the goal and my really big stretch goal is to hopefully grow one plant out of this tent and harvest uh, a quarter pound um, that's the goal that's the stretch I think it's super doable um, and it might be even setting my goal a little low but we'll see um, until then it's an update um, thank you for checking me out peace out